This is the Reverend Steve Randall. Good to meet you, Reverend. Deep water is me. No, I said I'd do it, and I will. When I have time. Once we've marked up the line of the incision and prepped the whole of the abdomen and chest, back and front, the incision can start, extending from the top of the joint area on the chest wall to the bottom. The operation is scheduled to start at 8 a.m. this morning. There will be regular updates throughout the day, either from myself or one of my associates. The operation will be undertaken by a team of surgeons who are working in shifts of approximately three to four hours. The actual separation will be performed by Professor Adler. You know only children. one of them's expected to live. Oh, I know. I don't know if I could do it. Oh, you could if you didn't have a choice. You know, it's like you hear of parents sacrificing their kids so that the kid has a better life. It's the same sort of thing. Update will be around noon. Thank you. How's the operation being funded? Operations are funded by various means, either the NHS, sometimes privately, occasionally through charitable donations. Does the Reverend Stephen Randall come in the private or charitable? This is a charitable donation. And is this the same Reverend Stephen Randall that is facing charges of child abuse? So which one do you want? What the hell was all that about? I haven't a clue. Miss Randall, have you accepted funding from him? From his ministry. What? In the form of a charitable donation. We've accepted a donation from a child abuser. I had no idea about that until now. Am I the only member of the board that didn't know about this? No. I deposited it in the Holby Night Care account. The what? It was a separate charitable account set up to fund night operations. We didn't do night operations. We did when I first arrived. It was headed by Percy Durant, all perfectly above board and legal. So why was it kept from the board? It wasn't kept from anyone. The board never mentioned it, so I didn't. When Randall made his donation, in order to save any confusion, I put it in the night care account. I'm sorry, I still don't see why you didn't put it through a normal account. Because it was a donation. And I didn't want it to be swallowed up by the day-to-day -day running costs. And there were doubts about Randall's veracity, so it seemed wise to keep it from prying eyes. It seems to me that that little ploy has failed, and the prying eyes have found it. I'm still puzzled why you're not doing the operation. Let's see what we can do. The fact of the matter is that we are funding a high-profile operation with money from a child abuser, and soon the whole world and his dog are going to know about it. <sighs> the money was accepted in good faith. Oh, I bet it was. And I was going to use it in his defence. Holby City Hospital is going to be called as a defence witness in a child abuse case. I think you are overreacting. Maybe. But I don't think I'll be on my own. I know the majority of the board are not going to be no. happy about this. I have done nothing wrong. Really? The board refused to fund the operation. Because we didn't have the cash, Jane. And I was offered the cash, so I took it. I would have been mad not to. This has got PR disaster written all over it. Well, I didn't know he was going to be charged with child abuse, did I? No. But you did know that the man was dodgy. I think you could have acted with a little more caution. Well, I didn't. No. So I think the board will expect you to get us out of it. Excuse me. Uh, I wonder what you wanted to do about this. I'm going to have to deal with this. Mr Griffin, Sam's tracking can't make it in today. Why not? A bereavement in the family. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. Um, so... We need to find a new coordinator. How about Lyndon Cullen? You're not serious. He knows more about this operation than anyone. Yes, but we need someone who can detach themselves emotionally from the procedure. Well, you're director of surgery. I thought the idea was to find someone who wasn't involved in the surgical aspects of the procedure. It was. Mr. Strachan has done the groundwork. It just needs somebody to keep it all together. OK, if that's what you want. We also have another problem, a much bigger problem. Connie Beach, I'm going to miss her pedicure. No. Steve Randall has been charged with child abuse. What? He must have been under investigation before he came over here. Look, this doesn't change anything. We keep quiet about the donation. I mean, that was the idea of putting it through Holby Night. Too late. The press already know. How? Well, my guess is our friend Reverend Randall needed the publicity to offset his other little problem. Any ideas what we should do? Yes, get this operation underway. But they're already being anaesthetized. I mean, really underway, so there's no going back. You don't think the Trust would try to stop it? It's a possibility. I think Crow is rallying the board against me. I'm not sure what the outcome will be. This is my fault. It was my idea. It was your suggestion, but I sanctioned it. Nevertheless, I should just come clean. I wouldn't. 
I've told them it's all legit, but that wouldn't stop them suspending you while they have an inquiry, and you wouldn't want that. We were all in this. I'm going to get at whatever. No point anyone else falling on the sword, and I need you to do this up. Vince? Yeah, hold on. Uh, Sam Strachan, has anyone seen him? Or a bit 007. That was the idea. I hadn't banked along this. Still, it's less hassle than being in the press office. Have the calls started already? Oh, thick and fast. We're virtually under siege. No, I know that's an exaggeration. We've had calls from nearly every newspaper in Britain. Well, good to see we're creating an interest. Their interest is in Stephen Randall. They want to know where he fits in. OK, what did you tell them? You thought you'd see you thought it was a good idea to take cash from a child abuser? Because let's face it, if he's gone down for a long time, he won't need it. We just told them we're looking into the matter. Well, that's as good as anything. Mm. I take it from that that you haven't come up with any alternatives? There is no alternative, James. I don't know what it is you don't understand here. I took a donation from a man and placed it into a legitimate account, all the while hoping the board would still fund this operation. They didn't. I used the donation. That's it. I'm sorry, you're trying to blame the board for this mess. The board refused to fund this operation. That's a fact. Cash doesn't grow on trees, James. No, but it can be wasted quicker than turning a tap on. Nobody's sorrier about this situation than me, believe me. Have you learned anything else about Randall? No. Any chance you'll get off? No. From what I hear, they're queuing up to testify. Mrs Grayson. Gray Saunders from... Yes, the... I know where you're from. I've got a minute. Sorry, I don't. It's just our information tells us that the donation made by Stephen Randall was channeled through an account that the Holby board weren't aware of, if that's the case. Is it right to assume that you knew that Randall had this abuse case hanging over him? Where did you get this information from? Oh, sorry, that's confidential. Well, then my opinion of Mr. Randall is also confidential. Sorry, excuse me. I wanted to meet you to give you a heads up. Really? I've spoken to nearly all the board and they're not happy. Whilst you're obviously over the moon. It's understandable. You've just seen the press won't let this drop. My only hope is that by the time this hits the front pages, it won't matter. The op will be complete. There will be a backlash. And as you're the one admitting to taking the money, be prepared for that lashing to come your way. Can I have the name and number of the account with the money in it? Why? It belongs to the hospital. We need access to it. Well, so you can take the cash and I'm left with an op I can't fund? Oh, come on, I wouldn't do that. How can I be sure? You just have to trust me. I'm sorry, I don't. Don't be naive, Jane. You have to give me those details. No, I don't. As long as I'm still the CEO, I will continue in the way I think best. Mrs Grayson, look. I'll do you a deal. I'll tell you where I got the info. You tell me what you knew about Randall. OK. Randall tipped us off about how it had all worked. I thought so. Thank you. So, what did you know about Randall? That he was a man of God. That he was always polite. And he was also very generous. I knew nothing about anything else. Thank you. Have you any idea what you're saying? This operation has been underway for over six hours. You seriously expect me to go and then stop it? I don't think that's what we're saying. She just said stop the operation. Forgive me if that means something else in the twilight zone this board seemed to be living in. There are no funds there for are this funds. operation. In this bogus account. It's not bogus. As we discussed, the account was never sanctioned by the board. 95% of the things that happen in this hospital are not sanctioned by the board. Because if I was to wait around for you all to make up your minds, half the patients would be dead. Then you'd be screaming at me for mortality rates. Uh, what we're trying to say, Jane, You are is... not trying to say anything. You're just worried that having accepted money from someone who is now being accused of abuse, that it will reflect badly on this hospital. Sexual abuse of a minor please, is not... Please, please elaborate. Next you'll be saying I was party to it. Oh, that's being silly. No, this meeting is silly. In fact, this meeting is bloody ridiculous. I know what I've done. I should have told you about the account and I should have told you where the donation came from. I didn't. I was wrong. But if you want to stop this operation, then you go in there yourselves and pull the plug, sew them back together and give them back to their parents. Okay. Jane. Jane. You have to understand their position. Why? They don't understand how complex this is all Of course they don't. They're being. butchers, bakers, candlestick makers. I wouldn't makers. say they were. What do they understand about running Most a hospital? Most of them have had experience Dealing when with it comes... conjoined twins? Great. Get them in. We could do with all the help possible. You know what I'm saying. No, I don't. Here are two parents who have risked everything for a freer and better life for themselves and their children. And right now, they don't know whether tomorrow they'll even have any children. Now, how are that lot in there ever going to understand that? But you do. Yes, because I've lived with them for the last few months. I've seen the fear and terror in their eyes, but I've also seen hope and belief. 
screw you and screw your board if you think I'm not going to do whatever I can to help these people. But we don't have the money. That's we the bottom do, line. James. With a donation from a child that abuser. That's going to change. That's how it is. I have apologised. I didn't know Randall was going to go around tipping off British journalists. If I had, I would have played it differently. They want to hold an inquiry. Let them. Let them do whatever they want. I have tried to minimise the situation here. Jane, I'm on your side. <laughs> But the board want action, so somehow we need to fix it. The operation is underway. What can I fix? If you could get funding from somewhere else and give Randall back his money... You have to be kidding. That, I think, would appease the board and the press. And if I can't fix it? Let's not even go there, shall we? <sighs> Linton, I just had a meeting with the board. They are not prepared to accept Randall's donation. They found out about the child abuse. It's just been in the news. Already? Have they mentioned us? No, but I suppose it's only a matter of time before they do. You know, Randall tipped off some journalists. I don't know what the board's problem is. I mean, the case could be thrown out. You've never been great at politics, have you? It's not my strongest point, no. But does it mean that they'll sanction payment for the op? No. No way. Well, then what? I don't know, but I've just been given a veiled threat, which wasn't so veiled. Either I find alternative funding or they cut the op. You're joking. That's what they're threatening. Oh, and I'll be joining the ranks of the great unemployed very soon. OK, fine. Tell them it was my idea. I'm the consultant. I'll take full responsibility. Well, I don't think that will wash. They can't demand that we cancel the operation. That would be murder. That's really cool, you know? I never really had her down as cool. Well, I think she's quite cool. Yeah, well, I, I haven't a clue what time I'm going to be home. But, you know, the kids are with Mom, so you don't have to worry about what time you get back. OK. I'll ring you later. Bye. Sorry. We should come clean. We should tell the truth. I already have. Not to the board, to the press. It was the press that kicked this whole thing off. The board wanted burying, not staring up. Look, listen. Nobody in England was prepared to come up with the money, but Randall was. So let's name and shame a few people. It's because we got no support here that we turned to him. You know, all we tried to do was save two babies. How bad can that be? Thank you. Thank you. For being so patient. Thank you. All I can say is that the operation is continuing. I won't give you any medical details at the moment. I will leave that for the surgeons at a later date. Suffice it to say that uh, the operation is complex, but the twins are holding up. And at this moment in time, we are all optimistic. Obviously, if there are any developments during the night, you will be informed. Otherwise, the next press conference will be 8 a.m. Any questions? Yes. We're still not very clear about the issue concerning the funding of this operation. Is it true that the money has come from the Stephen Randall Ministry? And if so, how come the hospital board were unaware of it? The bottom line is that nobody in this country was prepared to fund this operation. Not the hospital trust, not the government, and no existing charity. And my medical team felt that it would be hugely beneficial for the Tans to have the procedure, both the birth and the separation, here at Holby City. So frankly, if the devil himself had given me the money, I would have taken it. <laughs> imagine what you were thinking. I was thinking it was time someone told the truth. That we refused to fund an operation and then accepted a donation from a source that quite frankly makes Ted Bundy look reputable. If you want to be crude about it, yes. This is going to stir up a hornet's nest. Oh, I think we can safely say that's already been stirred. There's nothing more I can do. I'm sorry. The fact of the matter is that they are illegal immigrants that shouldn't even be in this country. Now we're getting to Never the bottom mind. of it. Receiving expensive medical treatment from this trust. This may come as a shock to you. But neither myself nor my staff care whether they're illegal immigrants. You play politics all you like. I prefer to let my staff do their job. There's an EGM of the board in the morning. Well, they want me to present my case? No. 
No, we're way past that. They're going to ask for your resignation, Jane. I'd like to say I could persuade them otherwise, but I won't be able to. And I don't really want to. At least I can leave with my head held high. Can you say the same? The board are walking away from this operation. They claim the funding is from a corrupt source and that we were illegally banking money, money which belongs to the trust, all of which I fervently deny. Do you want me to explain all that to them? No. Could you just explain that as from tomorrow, I will no longer be holding this position? They'll have to deal with someone else, I'm sorry. That's ridiculous. You're only in this position because I pushed and pushed. I should be the one taking the rap for it. Grace and Shannon, no, but all. I'm in this position because I agreed with you. There must be something that we can do. Why don't you let me talk to the board? No. I made the decision. I chose not to tell them about Randall. I gambled, I lost. Hello? What do you want more? He wants to know if there's anything they can do. No. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, they think that Min So and Jong Jin should prepare themselves for the worst. Uh, could you tell them that, please? is currently being held by the New York police on charges of sexual abuse. His involvement with the conjoined twins operation at Holby City at the moment is not quite clear. It's not telling us anything we don't already know. Jane, I meant what I said earlier. I want to take full responsibility for No, Lyndon, that's not going to happen. This isn't some localised dispute. There will be ramifications. I mean, I'm not sure what the board will demand. It may not end with my resignation. There's also your job. And I'm sure they're not going to be happy about Rick continuing as director of surgery. All we can do is make sure we don't let the tans down by giving them our continued support. I'll go and look for a minso. See if I can't sort out what's wrong. How's he going to say anything to her without you? It's funny, when push comes to shove, they always manage to understand her. She... Jane. Oh, Jane. Have you spoken to the Strategic Health Authority? It's the middle of the night. I'm quite sure they don't have a night shift. Tonight's the exception. They held an extraordinary general meeting. About us? I was just on my way home for a quick shower. Can I wait till the morning? They're waiting for your call. OK. So, what's the next piece of devastating news? <laughs> you were right all along. About what? We have just shamed the SHA into underwriting the cost of the op. That's fantastic. The hospital don't have to pay a penny so Randall can have his cash bag. Might come in handy for his defence. It's America. He's going to need more than that. But there's even better news. They've had some inside information from the immigration judiciary hearing. And? They have finally accepted the fact that the Tans are North Korean. So that means... They'll be granted asylum. It means they can stay. I can't believe it. After all this time. <laughs> you did well not to give up. So this means we were right all along. The board can't argue with us now. Well, I wish that was the case, but uh, I went against the board. They're not going to let me get away with that. My guess is that they're going to want me out. Strategic Health Authority that they'll now be funding the operation. Was that a bit of a surprise? No. We'd always hoped that that would be the case. Do you know why the sudden change of heart? No. You don't think it had anything to do with Stephen Randall's involvement? No comment. Will you be releasing photos of the operation? That will be decided after consultation with the parents and the medical team. Mrs. Grace. Mrs. Grace. Mrs. Grace. Mrs. Grace. They both came through. Oh. Congratulations. Pretty successful outcome. Yeah. I think so. It seems everyone wins. Yeah. Do the board still want my scalp? I'm afraid so. You went against their express wishes. Thank God I did. Two weeks' time, they want to see you. 
I'll be there. Wearing my best Joan of Arc suit. How did it go? Three resignations, and not one of them mine. 